Music that I've seen, uh, it's just all cutting edge. It's um, the things that have been really great inspiration. Um, some really heavy musicians playing here. Yeah. Actually, it's really amazing. <laughs> and I, when I, I uh, told them my band, um, well, the, you, you read your project yeah. yesterday after seeing all this, the, the, the bands from the night before, John, all these guys, I think. Oh, Master Flux sounds like Mary Poppins. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, I said, and uh, I said, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to go on and and play. Just play, look for that that inspiration. And, and it's so beautiful because people enjoy it. It's really a lot. And so it's really open to this festival. It's open to so many different genres, so much different Parts of improvised music, yes, yeah, unbelievable. So I'm never sure if people are gonna like my music because I just write my stories, yeah. my emotions, yeah. things I see and stuff like and think my experiences. So so it's fantastic to see when people are also touched by the same way that I am by the music. When you, when, when you called me, Shane, it was a big, it was a, it was beautiful that you called me. Yeah. <laughs> a fellow bassist from South Africa. Yeah, no, it was, I was very, very, I was very uh, moved that you actually called me to come and do this thing, really. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, then, I, then, you, th then I heard that I've got two drummers, two tenors, two bass players, and now my music is, um, you know my music, it mm -hmm. comes out of the way I play bass. Mm -hmm. All my arrangements. So I'm going to do this now because um, I'm not playing. I'm gonna conduct it, and um, thought no. And then I looked. I, I went and I looked on the on on YouTube. I checked. Do you read your part? I was very excited to do this. Eh? Yeah, and uh, to just make arrangements to work with five wind, woodwinds. Mm. Yo, it's gorgeous mm. and vibraphone and two bass players. And then um, I was I was really wondering how the two bass players were gonna to work together. Mm. I was wondering about how the two drummers are going to work together, but the two drummers locked in, eh? Mm -hmm.
Oh, jazz. It was quite a... It was not the obvious progression, but I mean, I, I lived in the... I lived in urban... urban uh, I lived in the township. I grew up in the township. I, lived, I grew up in Soweto. So, so that, that was the music that was being played by my neighbours and that was the music that was enjoyed by the people that were living around me. And yeah, my first influences were, were jazz because I mean, the TV, the media and all this American stuff and like I was attracted to like guys, the music of, um, of Louis Armstrong, Satchmo, music of Huma Segela and uh, Nat King Cole, um, the Roaring Twenties and um, all that vibe. Um, and I was also studying music at school, uh, doing a course in classical music. So, and I was like, you know, running it the, the proper way. And then there was also the other way on the streets. So I, I was more attracted to the one way where I was living it and, and it assimilated to my daily existence. If, if it was just completely straight ahead or completely avant-garde, I mean, then it, it would be the same. It, it would be the same extremity. Then it wouldn't be extreme at all, right? So you always need to you need a balance of, of sweet and, and sour and bitter. All the tastes need to come in. So I think I think that that for me is, is actually the spice of life. You know, is collaboration, constant um, interrogation to see where you are in the world. You know. So I think. That, that, that for me is a great, what, is what makes a great festival. Es ist schon ein bisschen ein Treffpunkt. So, ja, sehr, also, sehr, sehr. Irgendwie ist so, es ist mega wichtig. Es also, ist ein schönes Wiedersehen ja. und mega ein schöner, schöner Austausch. Weil du teilst, du teilst mega etwas in Teams. Auch die Jazzwerkstätten sind eigentlich, das ist eigentlich unser so, so, ähm, Ursprungsidee, ist irgendwie alles von dem abgeleitet gewesen. Und, also das hier, da, was wir jetzt spielen, das ist, ein, das ist eigentlich ein... Input für uns, von der Idee her, um so etwas zu machen. Ah, oh, da ist jetzt heute, ja. Ja, ja. die Jazzwerkstatt ja, ja. so mhm. funktioniert. Und ich ja, so mega den Austausch fördern. Und das war für uns mega wichtig.
alles, was wir organisieren, wollen wir auch so machen, dass es wirklich für alle irgendwie möglich ist, wo nur ein Mühe interessiert sind, schon nur ein bisschen, dass die irgendwie einfach schon eingeladen sind, zum kommen und sagen, hey, das ist gar nicht, das ist gar nicht so schlimm. <lacht> ja, unbedingt. Es hat ja viel mit Atmosphäre Jetzt hat ich gesehen, viel mit Atmosphäre. Jetzt hier ja. zum Beispiel. Genau. Mhm. Völlig geile Wein. Ja. Und er ist eingeladen zum Kommen ja. zum Hängen. Mhm. Mega. Ich glaube, wir den Leuten haben gesagt, ich zu wenig zu. Also, oder ja. vielleicht ja, grosse Veranstalter oder kommerzielle Veranstalter. Ich glaube, das mhm. führt halt alles dazu, dass man den Leuten nicht mehr vieles zutraut, dass sie nicht mehr mit Sachen konfrontiert, wo sie sich damit können auseinandersetzen können. Mhm. Und auch wenn jetzt jemand mal das Konzert, das wir organisiert haben, so nicht gefallen hat, auch das ist irgendwie nutzvoll, weil auch dort kann man in ein Gespräch kommen und irgendwie davon von irgendetwas mitnehmen, ja. oder? Ich glaube es. Mhm. Geht so? Ja. So, ein bisschen Musik angehen. Ich gerne. started out as um, an idea on how to bring a lot of sounds, a lot of instruments and a big orchestra into a tiny format that we could fit into our car and go places that you couldn't really go with an orchestra. So what we did was um, went around with a camera and started filming friends who were playing instruments or singing songs uh, and then bringing a projector on stage. So these friends of ours, they were projected on a wall behind the band and uh, through the speakers you would hear our um, digital friends. Then this kind of broadened into us borrowing stuff from YouTube. Sweden was too small for us, so, so we, we, we borrowed a, a bunch of clips from YouTube um, and now that's kind of what we do, borrow stuff from all over the world and making new music with these borrowed videos on stage. show what what we have in common like mm. people from all around the world and yeah. we can we can just play something and it's not most of the time we can do something very simple just to show that these things connect right. and it's that moment that is that is the interesting part and mm. when someone watched that from another part of the world like here in Bern yeah. tonight yeah that's that's the thing that's definitely one of the most as a listener one of the most powerful um, experiences from listening to music is seeing how you yeah you put a magnifying glass on on the beauty in something from a non-professional musician yeah. they've posted it to YouTube yeah, without sure. the intention of seeking fame or glory yeah. they're just sharing yeah. with their friends or it's a yeah. tutorial or something mm -hmm. and you show how much beauty there is in that without it having to be some polished yeah. finished product and mm -hmm. also what I like is that it's you'll use these videos whether they're grainy or you know filmed on a cell phone or an old mm -hmm. DV cam or something like that and that's part of the texture and the sound. Um, 
in that regard tonight, you're going to be featuring a very special guest, Asma. Yeah. Um, what have you got planned for that? Um, well, it's it's uh, kind of a new thing for us to to be because this is your uh, beautiful idea. Uh, it's a team effort. It's a team. Effort. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah team. I mean, um, uh, the the whole Werkstatt idea is about bringing pe people together, right? Then this thing to actually uh, being able to um, make some music with her on stage is, is really exciting. Mm. Um, and this is something that you, you, this is out of our comfort zone. The, the live thing, like playing with, with asthma, which is a beautiful thing to like, just see what happens.
if you think of how how jazz started, you know, it wasn't something classical or uh, you know, like when it just started, it was uh, really coming from the street, you know, like. So when it gets too like uh, closed in a square, it's a bit. Uh, well, academic, uh, let's say, when it becomes academic, it's uh, stop to be what it is. Let's yeah, say. it's uh, just uh, you know, fake. But I didn't see any. No, oh, not here. here. No. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, then I like a lot something. of fusion music, and here it's all fusion. Yeah. And, you know, mix it's up. It's nice mix. Culturally. But I think maybe that's that's the that's the thing that uh, sometimes uh, worries me a bit about the word jazz is that uh, people connect the word jazz with right and wrong. And I think for me, uh, the music is, is completely opposite of that. Also, how you see how it started, it, it's about uh, progress and it's about trying out different things and it's about not being scared about right and wrong. It's about uh, developing, developing. You know. Actually, since the 1980s, I've been coming playing with Europeans and uh, and people acting from Japan, from Europe, from South Africa, playing with Mr. Louis Maholo. And uh, what I learned was that you have to quickly adapt to where people are coming from, how they sound, what are their sensibilities. And uh, you have to do it very, and you have to do it in a short time because you don't have. Sometimes you have no rehearsals because you're just getting on stage and you're doing an improvisation with these other musicians, and it really can't fail, in the sense that while well, you come away over here, it's got to work on some level. So I learned to really tap into intuitive qualities, and sort of reading and feeling where people were coming from. And it works 95, 96% of the time. And even when it doesn't work, there's something that works. You don't play for an hour without having one moment that's where something magical happens. And that's what we're here for. And it's great that we're meeting musicians from Morocco, from Africa, from Switzerland, from Germany, uh, all coming together playing. It's like, it's, it's perfect. Thank you. 
I, 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 and I got to hear people uh, for really hear them for the first time, like um, like uh, uh, Metro Ross Moose, and I've seen her play around, but this time I really got to work with her for the first time and and uh, play with her. She's she's excellent. No, all the musicians I'm playing with are excellent, and uh, in a way I wish I could do a, you know stay and work with them every day, and you really get inside the ensemble. You work with it once a week, twice a week. And um, and it's all very special. Everyone's got a special quality that has to come out. But sometimes you have to play music to get it to surface. Inspiration is like what they call a weed. It comes up out the concrete. You can't keep it down. You know, green keeps coming out every year. That's what inspiration is because that shows you that people need inspiration. They want it. So people come to the festival and they have that concentrated inspiration because every night it's music and then the musicians are talking. The audience is, is, is sort of glowing. And, and, and uh, floating, and it's, it's great.